Hi everyone, this is Jasmine Choi. I'm a professional classical flutist. I have been traveling and performing all over the world and here are my 10 things that I cannot travel without. So let's get started. This is the first and the most important thing that I travel with. I guess you can guess what it is, but the reason that I can actually throw this in any way is because it's so secure. You guys ready? One, two, three. <laughs> so it's very secure inside. It's called a smart case, a flute case that's shorter in length than the traditional flute cases so that I don't have to bring very large backpack or a large tote bag when I travel. And I wanted to have a flute case that could fit into the normal backpack. This was the result and solution that I made. They occur in this way but shorter in this way, but it does fit into every normal backpack. So it's three ways secured. It looks like it's wood, but it's actually carbon fiber. Only very on top that's wood veneered. There are actually a lot more details that I can talk about. If you guys want to know more about this case, comment below and I might make another separate video. The last thing actually that I wanted to quickly mention, there's no velvet inside like the other flute cases. It makes a lot of dust. So without the velvet, without the dust, that could get into your flute heads between the keys. I found it the sound quality, it's much better without all the dust and also healthier for your breathing as well. We're still renovating for SmartCase website, but in the meantime, you can send your inquiries on SmartCase Instagram. Now that you know about this flute case, my second most important thing, guess what? It's the flute. <laughs> I always need this when I travel because I travel 99% for the concert or even for a vacation. I do bring the flute just in case for my mental security, even if I don't touch it. It is with me all the time, wherever I travel to. This specific flute that I play is 14 karat gold handmade flute by David Straubinger from Indianapolis. I've been playing this flute in the last 10, 12 years, and I'm very, very happy with this flute. I have the backup flute, exactly the same one, just in case that something happens right before the concert. For those of you who doesn't know so much about the flute, flute has this body joint, foot joint, and the head joint. Also 14 karat gold, but from a different maker, Yang Chan Song, who is in Seoul. The head joint is the part that creates your color your voice. I feel like I'm not so eloquent with words, but I can create much more with the flute. That was my number two most important thing I carry with. Third thing, the iPad. It's a very older version of the iPad, but it serves its purpose. I only use the iPad for music score. These days you can download a lot of street music for free. And I use the Four Score app and also the Henle Music Library. It's really, really convenient tool for every musician. I don't have to search for every sheet of music at home. Flute scores are actually very thin when it's on the shelves. You cannot see what's what. Even if I'm so organized, I have to actually go through by alphabet. It's such a grueling process. I actually don't use the iPad on stage, but most of the time when I need some inspirations, uh, searching for other scores, it's been very very handy. And the next thing I carry around is old-fashioned staff paper and of course pencil and uh, eraser. In the first page I used this to create examples for my flute beginner books that I wrote published by Soul Music Publishing. <laughs> Easy but also melodical for all the beginners so that they don't lose interest. I'm carrying this with me these days because I have this new composition coming up that I have to finish for this Lincoln Center Gala concert. It's actually my very first official composition. So I'm really embarrassed to even talk about it. I get a lot of ideas in the airport when I'm sitting alone and also in the airplane when all the distractions are stopped 
on airplane mode and super quiet and nobody's talking to me. It's a really good chance to sit down and start writing. I've been the old fashioned one. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> Hopefully the composition comes out well. We'll see. And the next thing that I travel with, AirPod Max and the Pro, both of them serve different purposes. AirPod Max, which was a generous gift from Apple Music Classical, very useful tool during the flight when there's so much noise and also you never know if there's going to be crying baby or so. <laughs> the level of noise cancelling is so much better than the noise cancelling of the AirPod Pro. They're not paying me to talk about this, but I love it. For everyday purposes, I use the AirPod Pro more, talking on the phone hands-free or listening to a lot of music to get inspired for next performances and so on. And if you guys are interested what I'm listening to, mostly I'm listening to classical music, K-pop or jazz. When I'm sitting at the gate, when the time doesn't fly as fast as I want it to be, I often go into this app called Tonic. I go into other people's practice room, listen to their flute playing or violin playing, give comments and say hi. It's a really fun app. You can find your own community, ask questions and talk about your own instrument or music in general. I have this group called Choi to the World. People ask me questions about flute play or the beauty products I use. If this sounds interesting to you as well, you can download this app for free and join the practice community using this QR code or using the link in the description below. Speaking of the beauty products, these are some of the beauty products that I always carry with. To answer your question, what I do on stage when I play the flute, my trick, put your favorite lipstick on the very tip of the upper lip. I should also mention that there are a lot of tints, it's called tints, on your lips that it doesn't go away quickly, but I don't particularly use them because I feel it so much, <laughs> even if it's a tint, so I don't use anything other than using on the very top of the upper lip. You might have noticed that your skin becomes very, very dark after playing the flute. There is a flute stain and that normally comes from using certain kinds of foundation. Over the years, I was looking for the specific foundations that doesn't give me the flute stain. And this is one of them. I've been using it for years already now. This specific one I ordered from this site called Koopa <laughs> from Korea, but I'm pretty sure you can get it online anywhere in the world. This loose powder has been very helpful for me. Stage light is so strong and you get this sweat and oil really quickly. By the way, I'm not doing any PR for any of these brands, but the next one. <laughs> this product is called On AB, short form from on your absolute beauty. This is actually the brand that I'm modeling. Only, only the best products. I mean, everyone says that for their own products in every brand, but this is truly the best one I've ever used. I put a little bit, even if it's on top of my makeup, you know, it helps my skin moisture on any circumstances. So it's more like a quick fix. I also use it every day in the morning and night. Another very handy thing that I carry with is a face spray, you know. More moisture now on your hand. This is my favorite perfume that I carry with. It's not exactly a travel size, but I love this smell so much, so I carry with it. And the last one is another favorite lipstick. Makes your lips shine a little bit. So that was all my beauty products that I carry with. And of course, your inside hydration <laughs> is also important, as well as your hydrated <laughs> skin. Sometimes I bring a thermal with me, but in this trip, I forgot but I still carry a water bottle. Keep drinking. Next thing is this mini foam roller. Normally you must have seen it in a gigantic form, you know, as tall as this much. You use it to stretch your muscles. So this is my travel version of the foam roller. <laughs> so normally I use it for stretching my muscles, like shoulder especially. You put this foam roller back of your shoulder. It stretches and relaxes your flute muscle, you know. So I normally use it for the left side more than the right side. That's where all the flute weight 
the gold weight is here. Sometimes when I walk so much during the travel, I also use this foam roller to relax the feet muscle. That was it for the foam roller. The next thing I carry with is this mini tripod with the Shure microphone iPhone stand. These days, the concert organizers often ask me to send them a short video announcing about the concert and how I feel about the concert, which piece I'm playing and so on. And I didn't want to make a video that is shaky or with a bad sound quality. I guess people don't realize it also takes a lot of effort <laughs> carrying this, making sure uh, I have a good sound quality. But of course, I enjoy making videos in <laughs> any forms as you can see. And the last, but certainly not the least, is this ball cap. It's so important for me because oftentimes after concert night, I have to catch very early morning flight. No time for makeup and hair, and I have to just you know, do this and dash out of the hotel and get to the airport. Speaking of it, I do have another flight to catch, so I have to go for now, but see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see uh, my flute. Yeah, so I'm good. Bye. Thank you.